Hi everyone, here's Arthur. Today I want to show you how to use Google Form and why you should start using it. First, you can use it to collect your customer's information, like a contact form. So when they have a question, they can send it to you. And second, you can create a survey and ask your customer about what they think about a certain product or a service. Finally, if you are running an online school, you can use Google Forms to create quizzes for your students. So there's a lot of different ways you can use Google Forms. And let's get to it. Okay, so one way you can create a Google Form is actually from the spreadsheet, the Google Sheet. So uh, how do we get into this uh, landing page of the sheet? is coming from here and just click on the icon sheets icon so go ahead and click on the blank spreadsheet okay so this is a indirectly creating a google form under the spreadsheet so what we should do is leave all this blank and we can uh, create a form when you go to the top menu tools and hit click a form so we go on the top form and click on the edit form link Okay, so we can start creating our form at this time. So now we have two questions. Um, we can just go preview it. Click on submit. So let me go back to see the sheets. So Google Form automatic insert the data that we collect into the spreadsheet. This is pretty neat, right? The second way to create the form by clicking on the form icon. So right now we are in the forms landing page and this is the form we just create. Uh, let's create a new one by looking at the template gallery. There are a lot of different forms that we can uh, start. So for example, we talk about how to create a contact information online form and Go ahead and click on Contact Information Template. So the default fields on the form is pretty good already. So I'm not going to change it and I'm going to start using it. Let's go to the setting. In settings, there are many options that we can manage. When the restrict to user is click, that means only the user in this organization can fill out the form. 
So if this is for your public website, you want to allow other people to uh, fill up the form. So let's click off the checkbox. And I don't think we allow them to edit after submit. So let's click that off. Click on save. And on the top, you can customize the look and feel by clicking on the customize theme icon. So we can change the color. Currently, is the header is green. So if we can change to uh, blue on the background and and choose an image. I think we are done with the style. So let's close the theme option. So after you finish the contact form, you may want to either email the link so people can fill out from your email or embed it onto your website. So let's get the link by clicking on the send button on the top. First, you can just send the email directly without going to your Gmail or other email program. So you can send it directly from here. Or if, if you prefer to get a link, you can click on the link icon. And this is a link that you can copy. But uh, I would recommend to click on shorten URL in case the URL got uh, broken and the link won't work. So this is a good way to ensure that the URL is intact. So let's copy and you can paste into whatever program that you need to send. Another way is to embed it as HTML code. So let's click on the code icon. And then you can just copy the whole thing into your web editor, uh, HTML code editor. So let's fill out a form and see how it looks. And let's hit submit. So when you come back to the form, you can click on the responses tab. And that will be the data that we collect from the form. And you can um, export it, download as uh, Excel. With the CSV file extension, you can open with a spreadsheet or Excel. So there are a few options that you can um, make. Let's say get email notification for new response. So you know that someone fill up the online form that you made. Yes, there's another place that you can uh, customize the response when people finish their form submission. This is the part that I'm, I'm talking about. 
So where you should go is click on the setting button and go to presentation tab. And that's the message that you can modify it. Let's say you want to change the confirmation message into um, thank you for submitting your survey or thank you for contacting us for the contact form. In Google Form, it's pretty easy to add item or delete items. For example, if I'm going to delete this address section, I can just click on it and click on the trash icon and it will be removed. And on the other side that if I'm going to add another item, I can just go to um, the plus sign icon and click on it. And if I'm going to move the order, I can just click on this handler and move down or move up. And when you're done, you can just click away or come back and click on the text. And there are many ways to modify the section. So you have choice of making this item a question or a comment or a checkbox or drop down. And you can also insert a calendar by clicking on the date. And you can add image or add a video if you like. And you can click on the icon to add another section. If you are making a quiz or examination, I hope the steps in the video are easy to follow. I think the Google Form is very convenient to use because it can collect information from your uh, customer or student in a pretty easy way. I hope it's useful for you. If this video helped you learn how to use Google Form, please give the video a thumb up. If you like to see video like this in the future, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Goodbye.